We have no main event tonight, so I'm going to do something that I think has really never been done in this industry. We're going to have what I'm going to call a match of champions. You're going to see your heavyweight champion, Dan Ravita, facing your TV champion. To wash you out! They will be facing Sleazy P. This is going to be a chance for the first time in the industry that I know of that one wrestler can walk out with two major titles in one night. What this is, is this is one way for one person to walk out with two different titles. Jenkins, would you do me a favor and take those out of the ring? My announcement is, I'm the special guest referee for this match. I'm gonna protect my investment. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, Dan, you wanna give it up? No, never! I'm already too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. And that was hardcore. Hey, 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 Spokane Anarchy Wrestling fans, this is Big Dandy coming to you live and in charge. And SAW is too hot to handle. Um, for uh, all of you that were here last week, you guys got to see a real slobber knocker at the end, where I was uh, the special guest referee and got knocked out due to some chloroform. So at this time, I'd like to say, Madman, thank you very much for choosing the least path of resistance to take me out. I, chloroform was the way to go. And on that note, I also would like to say, if, uh, have somebody else come out to the ring right now? At this time, I would like to bring Jackson Bourne out. Come on, SAW, get out! Searching for a random landline. Jackson, I brought you. 
I brought you out here um, because you did something on Sunday that nobody else did. I was incapacitated on the floor over there. You thought enough to come out and take me out of harm's way. For that, thank you. You earned a little bit more respect on our ladder. But I got a, I got a little business proposition for you. How'd you like to travel about five steps up that ladder tonight? What do you got in mind? Who is it? Bringing up his opponent from the Regal Arms in Hilliard, California at six foot three, 260 pounds, Hilliard's own Trash Man. While Trash is out here, I would also like to take the time to introduce our commentary staff up at the booth. We got the legendary Sick Boy, followed by his color commentator Verde. In the ring, give us his opening. In the ring is Rebo, our referee. Our camcorder and video god, of course, is just in time. Referee, do your job. Everybody make some noise. It's SAW too hot to handle. Come on now. Anytime you can scream anything you want, it's right now. Nice power over there. Power show impression in there. You know, honestly, Verde, I have to say, I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing this match. I mean, Crash Man has come back after years of absence and uh, it's going up against Jackson Bourne. I mean, we all know Jackson. He can take a whooping and he can deliver it out. Uh, he did. He joined about a year after I did back in 09. Yeah, I all I did was I heard the legend about oh, Trash Man. Oh, 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 what a great God. splash out there. That was, that was nice. Uh, you know, that was a little too early on the cover. You know that Trash Man's going to be about that. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you got to get credit for time. Well, you know, it, it's uh, when, you, when you're killing a guy, you know, it takes a lot of effort to take out. You know, it takes that energy out of him, but this is the way to ruin him. Oh, that was a beautiful modified drop there. Huh? Get, well, get Trash that, Man! That's a, get. a decent submission, you know. I mean, I don't think he has a full lock in, but, you know, but he seems to be doing the job. Right. 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 He's kept fast right now for at least a couple seconds. Right. 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 Oh, oh, did you see that straight to the yeah. shoulder? Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 You can't pick you up. It's kind of hard to pick you up. Well, I don't know. You know, if, you're, if your arm gets taken out, that just takes a lot out of any wrestler. They say that the knee is the weak part. Should have worked with the arm a little bit more. Yeah, that goes to show you that his arm is doing just fine right there, Verde. One! Look at that veteran mentality. Trash man right there. He's a season one original. Two veteran of this cause. But Jackson right back in the ring for more. Trash man just stomping on him. You know, those, those feet are quite large, sir, and uh, I imagine they don't feel good across the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh a blocked shoulder tap. Oh, 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 it was like hitting a big leg. There's no way you're going to knock down a trash man with that. I, I honestly don't believe that. Not with such a low altitude, no. No, not at all. If I really fly to the air, no. Oh, 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 Come on, who, who do you guys want to win this match? Cheer for your favorite, guys. Come on, let's have a chance. How about it, boys? How about it, boys? There is definitely enough people here who should be able to drown that epic can at least once. At least once. Even though I did give him a megaphone. Oh! I got the trash! I got the trash! Clean out of the ring. Whoa! What's Jackson picking here? Oh! I don't know which of those two that move injured more. Don't forget, we still have three hot dogs available at the far table, and if you have not, please pick up your raffle tickets. Seven! Definitely gotta give it up for these ring warriors. I mean, make some noise, crowd. Sorry, everybody, I need to step away. I had a lost fan. 
working on LSM. Nice night in the shirt. Hey! Oh, oh. And a devastating slam by your hand. Get up! Come on, Alex, get up! Get up! Good not to have a wire. All right, guys. Anderson just fighting back. Oh, a nice drop to the head. This kid has definitely got skills. What move is he going for here? Ah! Ah! What, 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 what would you call this move right here? A modified STF. Or a slight bow and arrow, one or the other. A half ass bow and arrow, that's for damn sure. Come on, Alex. Ah! Where's that speed at? Ah! You said, Jimmy. Ah! You said, you quit, Jimmy. Ah! Alex is ah! definitely just working these legs of little Jimmy. Look at the modified stretch muffler. Oh, and it just reversed into a tripping slam, trying to buy some time to get a breath. You know, I would almost call that a single leg takedown. Yeah. Almost. Yeah? Oh, the modified snapmare. Little G is just not trying to be punked out by this kid. You never want to be taken out by somebody a foot shorter than you. You know, a foot shorter and about 100 pounds lighter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Alex Anderson can't weigh more than, what, 75 pounds soaking wet? It looks like I'm not, I'm not giving 80. It depends, on, it depends on what kind of shoes he's wearing. A good 80 pounds. You know, but you can't count him short, even if he is short. Yeah, you know, it looks like he's buying his belt at the, 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 the child section of Walmart, but if it works, it works. You know, I was, but I, I was out shopping for my daughter's clothes, right? And I swear I saw Alex Anderson shopping at the Baby Gap. Ah, I'm not where the elephant pack came from. It looked like, you know, hand Well, The Irish whip. Oh, oh, no, Freddy Steez. He's protecting his investment. He may be a douche, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, you know, who other than a D bag wears a shirt that looks like a picnic table cloth? He likes to look classy, he likes to look nice, you know, usually he came out here in a suit. I guess he just felt like being a little more relaxed. Right? What do you say, man? He's one of the people now. And as Freddie Steve just pointed out, it is too hot to handle. You want to quit wearing a shirt? And I'm wrestling in that butt shirt. You just got a warm out there. Wait, 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 whose music is this? I don't know. I haven't heard this before. This is something new to me. You got a pot with it. Well, who's on no job in a straight jacket? Who the hell is that? I mean, that, that kind of looks like misery. I, I heard we had a new recruit in the this dark cesspool of apocalypse, but... I mean, really? Who, who the hell is this guy? Did you have to put him in a straight jacket? How is this guy safe around children? I don't know about this guy. He's... Yeah, he's getting in there. He's got, and he's got, oh, he's going straight for the players. Where the ball? 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 Where Hey, this is a gift. Hey, the bell. Give the bell. Come on. Big, big idea. Do you have any ideas? Oh. Can we get somebody know. out here? Can we get somebody out here? Anderson in a big boot, little Jimmy. This guy is just tearing these competitors apart. I'm not really sure right yet, but Apocalypse threw a uh, a bug oh. at me, so I think yeah. that, I don't know. Who this is. Let's go. You never really know what Apocalypse is thinking. I mean, that guy is a little evil. Come on, 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 Come on,
we're going to have to learn more about who this, this masked figure is, but whoever he is, he's just completely dominating little Jimmy in the ring. Right, like, where did Anderson go? Like, he already oh, just man. took him out, like, all the commotion. I didn't even see him get carried off. Ah. Anderson ah. was the when he got the ah. like, oh, 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 God. That'll break your neck. Did you just see that move? I'm a ghost tombstone. Oh. He's down, he's out, and he just keeps going. Oh. We're going to have to get more to the bottom of this. Apocalypse, come on, take your toy. Oh. Can, can we get this guy out of the Some way? Some toys little, break those who you play know. with them. I don't know what's going on. Like, the, 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 but there's no alliance with, with Jimmy? No one? You know, if I wasn't working commentary, I'd be in there right now helping out. Unfortunately, you know, I, I am working commentary, so I, I don't involve myself in those matters. Like, Jimmy managed to fight out of that maneuver somehow. But he can't get up. Oh my god, I can hear that kick all the way over here. I think I heard a folding rip snap. These fans are in stunned silence. Completely stunned. I mean, are you guys going to boo this guy? He's just beating the crap out of this guy. It happened with some, the other guy was just grooming maniacal. Oh, he just stepped all in the chair. This is Spokane right here. We are known to have the most violent fans since Philadelphia. Look at a bunch of camels. Well, if you guys love it, if you hate it, cheer, boo, man. Get loud, crying. Oh, it's so good. They're loving it. He's still just tearing him apart. Oh my god. Oh, that didn't break a rib. He sure can't breathe. We're, we're definitely going to need some uh, medical personnel to be checking on little Jimmy after this. Apocalypse, you keep your toy away from the crowd. Oh, he's just wrapping him from post to post. I, you have a shake little Jimmy around after this and listen to his ribs rattle. Oh my god, dude. his knee is just... That's gonna do some permanent damage right that now. That's gonna do permanent damage. I still limp because of that move. We owe some money! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Apocalypse, you need, to, you need to put that straight jacket back on. That's that right, piece. stick figure! Tell me what I need to do! You need to get your toy out of here, sir. Seriously, we just take this face hunt or something, man. Oh, oh no, you're getting involved. Oh, my God. Little Jimmy, is, it, is anybody going to help Little Jimmy? I mean, are we just going to watch a, a ruthless beatdown? I'm not really sure what Little Jimmy did to Apocalypse. No! This is horrible. This is, this is dirty is what it is. This is dirty and cheap. Yeah, but you notice the minute Reaper starts walking over there, he backs up. Well, of course. Welcome back, Reaper. Ready? Wait, like, doesn't that job do this? Like, you never needed to lose it was this guy. Hey guys, if, if you guys could do a big a big favor for me, can I get you guys all to cheer Reaper? Being a cancer of that say that one of the most influential and enforceable people of back in the day when I joined. It. have a new addition. I guess we might be seeing a little bit more of him around. I sure hope not. I sure hope not too. He seems a little bit vicious. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, moving on from that, we're going to move on to our next match this evening. Our next match is for the tag team titles. This match is a tag team tornado match. Coming to the ring first. Give it up for these guys. Ah! It's too hot there! He's coming down to the ring. He's, uh, he's about to show you guys what he's all about. Komodo, an amazing high flyer. Get loud! It's nice to see Komodo in that game with his back foot. Come on! You know, uh, I have noticed Komodo's definitely added a little bit of uh, white to his attire. I think he got tired of being made fun of. I need one thing to happen real quick. I need every kid here to come to the front of the line. Go, children. Run, come children. On. You can do it. 
Hey, all of you up front. Because I got a prize. Now, first one to catch it gets it. No fighting, kids. Yeah, no, no, my, no junior league yet. I'm the belt Come on, all the kids. Come on, come on, everybody up here. Come on, come on, everybody up here. Come on, come on, this is an autographed shirt from the uh, SAW roster. Why don't we all pass this thing around? You know what? I'm not even going to look. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Then make some noise. Scream. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You can yell all day out of your parents until you're getting your scream. Scream for me. All right. Whoa. Get it, get it, get it. Oh. And the tall kid won. Watch him being like six foot three by the time he's, you know, 14, playing basketball for junior varsity like four years in advance. That was awesome, Verde. Fan appreciation is always, always appreciated. Thank you for that, Verde. Really children appreciate it. Back to the match. Coming to the ring next, the current tag team champion from Lake Lynn, Florida at 150 pounds and accompanied by the Disciples of Destruction, Xander the Screw! Yeah, that's right! The Tag Team Champion, the Disciples of Destruction. I guess I am the Disciple of Destruction at this point. Regardless, he is the Tag Team Champion! Xander the Screw, and I've got a few screws left! Hey Xander, the 70s card, they want their pants back. You're not from Motley Crue. But you sure can fly, kid. You sure can fly. A reminder to the audience, this is a handicap match. Xander the Screw will be taking on Komodo and Verity by himself. Yeah! That's what happens when you're part of the show. I don't need a partner. I'm the tag team champion of Spokane Anarchy Wrestling. Yeah. Referee is calling for the bell. Give him some credit. You hold on this thing the whole time. We're not the bad guys. We're not even going to team up and take his belt. Xander with a nice end lock. Komodo with a four end lock. And a missed clothesline. A dual missed clothesline. That was a beautiful drop kick right there. Okay. You know, I would have to say Xander is most definitely screwed in this match. Personal opinion. I would also have to agree with that contention. So, so D, I have to ask you, what what is your opinion about this this phenom or whatever you want to call him that uh, Apocalypse has brought back or apparently back? He says it's somebody from my past. I have an inkling of who it is. I've never seen them show their cards before I say anything. Absolutely. I, I would have to say, D, me and you, we have a long history between the two. It's not always so pretty. But it seems that Apocalypse is, uh, he's trying to feud with everybody. Uh, he's called me out, he's called you out. Do you think he's messing with the wrong guys? Most definitely. I've been here for four seasons. I'm still on the top of my game. I still am the owner and operator of SAW, and that's the way it's going to be. Absolutely. And you know, D, I would just have to say, you know that after all the, the trouble we've gave each other, I most definitely have your back in this war that's uh, most definitely ahead of SAW. And that's a great time in the future. Maybe a war apocalypse wants to take over. So let him know the truth. I'm a blind man, and we'll see who stands to call it down. Back to the ring, we uh, we see Xander laying on the ground. You know, this can't be good for him, especially having a, a highly anticipated TLC match tonight. You know. I don't need this. Two. He's the one that signed the, sign the contract. I didn't force anybody to sign the contract. So, uh, this is all on him. He's he expected to go in there and perform, so that's what he's going to do. Five. And the arrogance of Verde is just astounding to me. Oh, and he pays for it right there. 
You know, being as he is not able to take it, but he is doing really well. He has taken some of the previous on the outside of the ring. Uh, let's see what this match entails. As of yet, I'm going to say that he doesn't get a little bit of candle to him, but let's see what goes on. You know, Xander is doing surprisingly well for uh, having a two-on-one handicap match right now. Do you think his opponent later tonight should be uh, scouting this right here? I wouldn't doubt it if Nation's watching from a not whole in the bed. You know, I, I can only hope. First, uh, the of Nation has grown tremendously over the season. He was able to beat me back on the Royal Show in a, a match of my choice. And you know, me signifies that he's a dangerous, dangerous champion, a dangerous competitor. Yeah, he's a new stack to deck with a guest referee. He still needs hey, to hey, check. That was Absolutely, that was you know? Hey, it is what it is. I gotta say, you know, I'm very proud of him. This nation has come a long way, but you know, look at all three of these competitors in the ring now. They were the best when we started our five season this year. They're all This is most definitely uh, one of our biggest shows I think we've ever had. Thank you to the audience for coming out tonight. Now, if only I could get you guys to scream like uh, there ain't no tomorrow. You want Scream like this free candy! That's amazing, guys. Thank you so very much. You rock! You know, he's being smart, though. I notice he has his shoulder up on the ankle of Komodo to keep himself from getting pinned out. I was just going to make that point myself. That's right. I'm not getting pinned in this match. You know, arrogance, uh, you know, it has no place in this uh, this business, but it seems to always follow us. Well, it seems to work for Xander in the long run. Oh, followed by a beautiful diamond cutter right there. Scary managers have ever seen uh, on the sidelines, but that doesn't uh, really help you. Ha 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 ha! Screw you! Screw you! Uh, uh, two! You know, I don't think there's a soul alive today that can make Reaper run from anything. Get off the rope! Start working! Go! Oh. Right. Oh. Oh. Two! Three! Now, D, can you brush me up on my, uh, my ring knowledge? If somebody was to be counted out who was the champion, would they retain the belt or would the titles change hands? Eight! Nine! Honestly, the title would probably change, would stay where it's at, but with this kind of pay review, I would have to restart the match. Amazing, sir. Amazing. Everybody give it up for Big D, making sure the action is all out for you fans. Got it. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Two. You know, it is what it is, Big G. It is Screw can't see me. The arrogance of Xander to screw that screwball. One. Two. Half fast covers just don't cut it in my league. So quietly, you act like you're not in a show. You know, I've noticed tonight that Xander's not really going with his normal offense. He's usually doing a lot of high flying, but tonight he seems to be aiming for the submission wrestling. Yeah, he's by himself. And there goes Faraday, my boy, in the ring, stomping a mud hole in Xander right now. Get him, Xbox! 
Every time I go to Taco Bell, I can't help but uh, think of Verde when I get the Verde sauce. No! Y'all want to see something new? Yes! Oh, that is an intense move. Right here. Well, sometimes you do Don't see that! Yes, sir, you most definitely do. Hey! Exactly. I mean, I've been known to do the same for Dan, a little cheap shot here or there, but, you know, it is what it is. Giving Xander a chance to get back in the ring and get some offense. What a great time. Oh, Talbot! Woo! Go! Oh, 
chocolate Dude. blue milk. That was definitely a great frog yeah. And I can tell you folks, that wasn't a half-ass cover. It was a very good cover. This match has just been full of submission action. You're waiting for the team with two people and you're doing less energy. Choke him out! Choke him out! Choke him out! Look at that! Choke him out! We have our fans making sure they know what they want. We have our wrestlers know they want some choking action. You can also have to worry both teams can drop the pace fairly fast. It's a little slow moving now, but that's all three parties are tired. Nice ball, that was an amazing knocking out of his great leather pants. Amazing job, Verde. You know, I'm most definitely going to have to congratulate this guy when he gets back to the commentary table. Hopefully with a new belt, just my opinion. I might be able to get it. A flying knee to the face. And we have new Pride Pin champions. Make some noise for Komodo and Velabu. The one thing they've got to stop and remember, Sander has one more title match. The new league is coming! Match with our TV champion, Nation. That is a match I have been looking forward to most certainly. The Dragons have the gold again! Come take it! What exactly is what's going on here? The big man is unsportsmanlike. Oh! The gut. Oh! And a punk slowly proving he does have some wrestling ability. Oh! Don't forget this. What a horrible punk move by Apocalypse. The villain of SAW. Yeah, I'm here Hello. for good. 
Oh my god! Should I ring the bell? from a supposed woman's champion. Evidently, um, our ring announcer, Tabitha, has to be taken backstage, so I'm gonna introduce the next match. This mi next match is an I Quit match. And his opponent in this match, the sort of professional wrestling, Gladius! Oh, hail Gladius, the sword of wrestling! George! Oh my god, this guy right here. Get off! Get off! Guys, this is an I quit match. If you guys don't know what an I quit match is, the only way you can make your opponent lose this match is by making him verbally say, I quit. Which is pretty embarrassing. Come on guys, cheer for the wrestler you want to see win, guys. I, I have all these inside sources has told me that so I believe it I mean look how angry he is you know you might hear him say this is Sparta but when you're talking to Gladius this is creatine <laughs> Absolutely right there. Now enough clowning around, these guys are, are going to probably put on a pretty technical show right here. I mean, it's supposed to be a violent match, but I see a lot of precise moves that are going to be done. It's like two bulls going at it. Stop! Oh. Oh. 
there's most definitely two bulls standing in there, and I hope they don't give you no bull S H I P. You quit wicked? Huh? You quit wicked? That was a nice snap mare right there, followed by a, a headlock. Uh, uh, Epic fan is over there munching out. Normally he'd be screaming his head off for Wicked. Oh, he likes Gladius now, I was informed. He likes Gladius. Free team, most definitely, goes like Gladius. Be quick, Rev, be quick! You know, I'm really hoping, honestly, that Wicked takes the victory in this. He's most definitely my favorite in that. Oh, God. Oh, God. We have the scariest man in SAW coming over here. I feel like death is on my shoulder. Quit, Gladius! No! You might wonder why I decided to join you here. It's because this match is a foregone conclusion. The sword of Spokane Anarchy Wrestling is but a butter knife. And so continue to cheer for Wicked. It shows you're not completely stupid. Oh, I do love Wicked. If you guys actually didn't know, Wicked and I are family by marriage. Well, we know where all of the talent in that family lies. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. I'm glad to know you're Now, we do, have, we do have apocalypse up here, and like I said, I do feel like I have the, the cold breath of death sitting on my shoulders, but I do know he is educated in this. So, uh, I have to ask your opinion, apocalypse. Uh, do you think Gladys has any chance in this match? Being completely unbiased with your answer. I do, only because of his desperation. He has a lot to prove. He's got losses, he has lots of posturing, and he has this woman adoring her outside the ring. He has a lot to prove. This loss could cripple him. Yeah, it does. I might seem a little cold-hearted with my feelings towards Gladius, but this guy, He's just such an a-hole. But he never stops moving around that ring. I mean, he'll get up after any fall, I know. I, to, I mean, you know, I have to give him props. That was an amazing elbow drop right there. In all seriousness, he does have ring talent. And uh, this should be a great match for you guys. He sure missed on that one, man. Come on, Wicked. Extreme wicked. Oh, that was an amazing fist. You know, with, with an I quit match, there it is a a you can quit anywhere outside the ring. There's no rules. This is just complete carnage. You can use weapons. You can smash. You can use Oh, uh, look at that. The oh! He's seen that from there. Do you guys want some weapon action in this match? He's got a sign right there. Let's see if he makes Gladius run this stop. This stop oh, Get him again, Wicked. You know, it, it's so hard to be an unbiased commentator right now because Wicked is most definitely one of my all-time favorites. Oh, he was... Uh, yeah. I, I can agree with you. 
you there on that seat, boy? I'm like, me and Wicked, um, we had some pretty troubled in, uh, in Rocky history when he came out where he went to my house, stole my mask, and showed up as hologram. But even I was excited about him this one. So he, he came out of the injury, he's doing well. He just seems, maybe you can use that stop sign to get him to quit doing well. Ah, uh, yes, his injury. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you seem to have rebounded from that a lot. Maybe, maybe that was some of that crash oh. in your blood. Oh. oh, what a great uppercut right there. Beautiful European uppercut. Oh. And the great forearm smash to the stomach. Well, Vladdy is built like a Neanderthal, oh. so you, know, you gotta work on that barrel chest, and you're not just gonna, you're just not gonna keep it down. You know, you have two pants in the ring right now, but it seems like uh, only one of them. Victory was really earned. I mean, it was two on one. In the match, he did accept it. He could have said, wait, let me find a partner. He chose to accept the challenge. He stood his ground for the match. He put up a damn good fight. I know my ears are still ringing right now. But, you know, if he chooses to find a partner and come back, he's former tag. So he's got a rematch block. I would love to see it, most definitely. You might even see that, that no! psycho nut job that uh, Apocalypse here brought to the ring. I still don't know who that guy is, but yeah. god damn, he was scary. Oh, oh, who the hell owns a straight jacket? Ah. Ah. I, I guess so. Ah. But oh my god. god. His will be black or something. At least he the match. Oh my god, god. that was a Solid great white slam white right there. Great I think slam. he stole it from an angel or something. Splash! The, the, the technical term for that is a, it was a rolling senton splash. I didn't know he had enough coordination to do that. Oh, he missed! 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 Oh, he you probably lose the one here. Let me check my phone. No message. I got my phone line just about six blocks away. At WrestleRave, we bolt her child up in her basement. At WrestleRave, with a class. Yes, we can talk about your child's friend or we can talk about the match. That's how intense we were that day. Amazing, sir. Absolutely amazing. It looks like Quick is going back to be outside. His, his stomach looks like it's hurting him. You know, I, I absolutely hate to agree with you, Apocalypse, but you know, you, you definitely did a good recruiting job by uh, attaining Wicked for the DOD. You did, and I hope he didn't come online. You feel like he had the rest of us. That is a good point. Apocalypse, I do have to ask, uh, do, you, do you have that same mindset as mind control on Wicked that you do on the rest of your wrestlers because Wicked has That's what you don't understand. That's what you and the rest of the sheep get wrong. There is no mind control. We transcend it, you weak people. Man. At least name. you have the courage to admit it. Come on, Wicked! What, what is it that I believe I heard you call them before? The, the sheep? Yeah. Oh, 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 o
He was pretty high on that one. Personally, I want to see Gladius beat Wicked terribly. So when Wicked beats him, it proves exactly how powerful the man called Wicked is. Most definitely. You know, I'm still confused by this, this new female division. I mean, you know, I, I'm struggling. Yes, I imagine strong women would confuse you. Well, you know. They don't like the color. Oh. This match is, it seems like it's a bit slow paced, but these guys are powerhouses, you know. They are definitely hurting each other. They don't move like we do. They're really quick and painful. They're just forceful. These are definitely two of our, our heavyweights that most definitely are trying to send a message from the back of the management. Um, you know, it's only so long we can see uh, the same thing that's fighting for that heavyweight title. These guys are looking to send a message that they deserve a title shot, I, I imagine. Yeah, I, I don't have to give, I don't have to give Wicked one thing. This, I, think, I believe this is the first time I've ever seen Gladius in a match with someone who can lift him as easily as he can lift them. You know, it, this is definitely... Oh, 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 Good job, Wicked. Good job. We can show that even a big man can leave the ground with ease. Well, I'm surprised he's able to get his foot up that high, but it just baffled me with that one. That was impressive. And I don't even like the guy. There's a, a I smell it. No! This is over. A Puma Clip yes, will be over. A headlock. That's beautiful. Putting two submissions on him at once just to make sure it still didn't work. You gave me the supposed No, 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 that's what he gave you. Yes, sir. And you should focus on the ring and not the guys with the mic. As amazing as we are, Meredith. No, no, we're here to distract people. Right? We are distracting. You can't take us, the crowd will distract and you'll lose. Come on. So who do you guys want to win this match? Make some noise. I would like to see Reaper win this You know, that, that knee looked just vicious right there, Verde. I personally don't know if I'd be getting up after a knee like that. A water break? Are you serious? Water breaks are, are most definitely needed certain times. Yeah, I, I, I'll admit, I've taken a couple. Last week, I took one. It, 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 it's good. You take a water break, and you still be involved. To any fans who were not informed, we have raffle tickets over at the front right over there, and uh, you guys should most definitely get them. They're free. Free. I can't encourage enough. Free. That means you don't pay anything. You walk up there and say, hey, I want that, and they hand it to you, so go get a raffle ticket. Yeah, it, 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 it's less than, you know, like 30 yards, so it's not really that much. Oh! Uh, and you get a bunch of really cool crap. About 30 feet. Oh, and apparently, uh, just in a form of the raffle, uh, the raffle after this match. Yeah, so hey, go get your raffle tickets right now. You gotta love this last minute update thing, man. At least we keep you informed. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's our job to inform if we are informed, sir. You know, yeah. I think we got more involved in your job than the wrestlers do. They take abuse. We have to keep people entertained. Well, sir, I have to admit, you were you were taking quite a bit of abuse in that match, but like the champion you are, you came out of it with a belt in hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get the debut, the new, intense Draco. That was... The Drake Equation, it's a great move. I was, I was impressed by that move, most definitely. I will give Xander one thing. He did manage to move his face. Sure. I was surprised he could even move after that. Oh, 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 oh. He just looked into the good guys and didn't just have to just take him out right at the beginning. I can't help but chuckle. It just seems, Apocalypse just seems ah. like this dark shadow on such a nice day. Oh, okay. It's like darkness and pain follow him wherever he goes. And a flock of, of anti-sheeple 
Yeah, he's, like, he's like a mega pose. Oh, he's like, you got Kung Fu Panda, but he's, he's a bad guy. Oh, right? Wicked. Wicked. Yeah, he looks like no. a panda from hell. Wicked. I'm sorry, he does. But he's not someone I want to stick me for bamboo. I'm sorry. Oh, so I, I must say, you know, though I am retired, I am oh, really intimidated by, by Apocalypse oh, or the DOD. With you. Right, I've stood my ground. Granted, he's knocked the wind in the out of me and filled my mouth with blood a couple times because of it, but... These two behemoths are just leaving it all out in the ring. They are! Oh. It's like watching mammoths fight over, you know, the last bit of refuge. What the hell is refuge? Some sort of plant matter, I think. I thought that was oh. Whatever it is, they're fighting for it, and it's amazing. Right? Oh. It's like career versus career. You know, this, this match is definitely about pride right here. These are two guys that they hold a lot of pride and uh, a lot of aggression. They're going to take it out in the ring and they're going to see who really is the better man tonight. That was a beautiful side pillow that was good, guys. Look at that amateur style that Gladius has. You know, I, I have to say, as much as I dislike Gladius, I've seen videos of him training in a, a very, very well-renowned camp. He's had some of the baddest in Spokane's mixed martial art elite giving him training, giving him advice, and uh, I, I really think that's going to come into play here tonight. He's wanting their support, or if he wants, if he's just feeding off of their cynicism. I think he's just hoping. Yeah, they, they seem to be wearing off. It looks a little dizzy. Not really. It's like somebody pushed a reboot button. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 And a knee to the side for Wicked, and another one. Just back and forth. And oh, and a head cut right there. Are you gonna have a steel plate in this forehead? You quit! Can he even talk? <laughs> I, I, I do believe if he is snoring, that is the equivalency of I quit. I, it, yeah, not that usually in a match over. I guess he's a restless sleeper. Uh, uh, the uh, le lending a hand. Giving me a pony in the water bag. Uh, maybe, maybe in a bottom's reality, guys without shirts is put water on them. You know, I, I would, I would like to also uh, give a big shout out to uh, a one Tyler Denby for bringing his cordless mics for us to use tonight. If you crowd, oh, most definitely. Could you guys give some noise for my good friend Tyler Denby? Great performer. His uh, CD release with uh, with his partner Daniel Stickney is uh, it's, it's September 26th. It was a quite, a, quite a beautiful performance, hopefully, before the show. Oh, absolutely, you guys who were all here were treated to a great performance, and uh, these microphones are definitely coming in handy. So oh, they are, they are. They try, they said that we tried for years to get local performers to come, you know, to show us. But now that we got mics, they actually are here, and it's amazing. Oh, it looks like Gladius is going for the ender. Here you go! Victor! Oh, and... I'm not really sure if that's going to be an effective move in this match, considering you have to make your opponent say, I quit, and it's kind of hard to do when you're unconscious. Right, I mean, I, I, you know, you'd think they'd go for some sort of painful submission, not these knockout punches. Right, I mean, every time Gladys puts somebody in that move, they've stayed down. Oh, well, see, he's taking the advice, going for the armbar. Oh, wow. He's wrenching it. He's like wrenching. Is, isn't that the injured arm? Uh, you know, I think that is his injured arm. Going for the weak spot, the, a veteran move from the rookie. And a rookie oh. 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 And the cannibalistic tendency to be a strike again. No, no, no. I don't know what it is about all these people, like a pot is the only one I haven't seen trying to eat someone in the middle of the ring. Maybe he lives on leftovers. You know, I don't know, but I think Washington might be one of the states that cannibalism is not illegal in. Mike Tyson's back! You know, but... I've actually researched it. I have not found any definitive answer. You know, we need to find that out, especially with these cannibalistic-looking EOD members in the week ring, or in the ring we think. Yeah. Oh. Does it have to get Misery's mouth oh. is blocked off? Maybe oh. doing it too, for sure. 
That guy is definitely known to chew on people. Right, right. It's like they get in the ring and all they see is chicken McNuggets. Go wicked! Like a big rip back in business. Oh my god. In the corner, Wicked with an Irish whip and Gladius just scouts it. Oh, and he didn't turn around fast enough. Now he's wiggling like a flag in the wind. Oh! Gladius just right stacks him on the back of his head. You know, I, I don't know how he's going to put Gladius away because I, I feel Gladius is too arrogant to, uh, to give up. Well, uh, you just and Wicked breaks the winning streak of Gladius. Thank God. Yeah, away for two seconds. Love him or hate him. You, you, you gotta give it to Wicked. He left and it doesn't seem like you guys like that match. Did you guys like that match? All right, give it up for the in-ring combatants right there. Give it up for the Wicked. Back and apparently better than ever. I think the only way you could have made that match more intense is they were fighting over a six ounce T ball. Or a six pack of beer, you know? And we've had enough drunks dealing with this. Well, that's for damn sure. Our next match is for the Inner City Championship and is scheduled for a one fall to finish. Flips his gun to his head with that, that disgusting ceremony he does. But it's a terrifying change, and uh, I guess though it has brought out the, the true misery in this demon. It, 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 it has. And, you know, every time I see misery now, I'm remembered I'm remember of the movie The Goonies. It's like when they wanted Chuck to be. Right? It's like if you never gave him the baby balloons, this is what would happen. Oh my god. And coming to the ring next. Your current inner city championship at from Mexico at 150 pounds. Sleepy P. Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> That's my boy right there. <laughs> He's now accompanied by the whole island. Sleazy P is a phenomenon to see you, sir. Oh, you do some of that great record. You know, there's somebody at ringside with Sleazy. I, I don't know who that is. Come from. Should we call her, her Lady P or Sleazy, Sleazy Chica? I mean, Miss P? You know, I don't know what we call it, but definitely, uh, it seems he's a happier, happier wrestler this week than I've seen him in a while. Oh, look at that. Got a pair of teeth and drop. Oh my god. I don't know who that is, but... Oh, what? Oh, oh my... I think I recognize her. Chirp, chirp, chirp. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here! Oh! I think that's bigger than the Is that who I think it is, sir? I think that is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! 
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, a ringside accompanying Sleazy P. That that is the mother of Misery Demon's child. Joining us at uh, the commentary booth is none other than the legend of the Deathmatch Division, what? Reaper himself. Reaper! Two. Somebody give this man a mic. Three. Three. I'm not very good at this. Come on, bring it back in the race, please. We know what Four. you're good at, sir. Kicking ass and taking names. Back. 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 What? So, so who was here at uh, WrestleRave 6? Make some noise. So you all remember that the Cruiserweight Championship was uh, retired and it brought back was the Intercity Championship, representing every every part of Spokane. I remember He is just not intimidated by the misery. Oh, but a strong back to the drop of the head in his upper back. You know, when you take those shots to the back of the head, all it does is it, it knocks you silly, it, it disorients you. Uh, does not feel good whatsoever. Oh. My misery! Get up! Watch the hair, Mace. Watch the hair. Sleazy P is just not taking any, any buck from this guy. Here we go. Oh! 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 Misery, misery demon just got a little bit of, uh, hey. <laughs> I mean, hey, but. One, two, two. Just be happy he doesn't have a no drink. I, I agree with you, Big Boy. We're supposed to be like just impartial, biased. But I hope he stops the crap out of this miserable creature in the ring. I, I, you know, I agree with you. It's just, it's hard for me personally because, you know, like I said, me and the Misery Demon used to be really close friends. But ever since Apocalypse has got his talons into the skull of the Misery Demon, he's changed, and it's—I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. Yeah. Like, I don't know where he got his new face from, but that whole group pulled the wool over my eyes to coin a Frank Mishipal crap. I had no idea that my craftsmanship was going towards the original one. Oh my god. Well, it, you know, it, it's, it's sad, you know what I mean, to see misery had come to this angry, miserable creature that he is, but maybe he was always this way. He just, we never knew. Yeah. yeah. It's part of being human, you just, sometimes you can't help what feeling takes over. Oh, and Misery with a, attempting a scorpion lock and Sleazy just fighting it. It looks like he's stuck with it. In. Oh! They tried to bow it out, it didn't work. Sleazy managed to wiggle out of it most of the way. So who are you guys cheering for this match? I mean, make some noise. That was a mixed response right there. Hey, hey, Misery, put your pumpkin patch away, man. <laughs> oh, the high of Sinton. That was an amazing Sinton splash right there. I don't like it, bro. You got some air on that one. That was, that was a horrible pin right there, though. I mean, very amateurish. Maybe Sleazy P might be getting in the head of the Misery Demon by bringing somebody from, uh, the misery demon's life into his corner. Lady P. Oh, it just puts his foot in the gut of Sleazy. Come on, Sleazy! Come on, give me the battle point. We don't run nothing but his mouth. I mean, I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. See? It's part of being human. You 
you want to be biased, you want to be impartial, but sometimes you just can't help it. Well, I like the other guy. Yeah. 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 Most prestigious titles, a title that's been around since season one. It, it is rather shiny, I will give it that. Like the glimmer on the IC title rivals that of the world anyway. Sleazy P fighting back. Watch the throw shots. Watch the throw shots. Both men on the mat. Oh, and Sleazy just slapping Misery in the face. Like he was attending a box of the ear. Oh! Trying to blind him with a rope. Orally. Sleazy just get ready to crowd behind him. Built some momentum. Misery dropping him. What's the dirty little burrito gonna do to it now? I think he's going to throw him. Oh, his, his shoulder and arm just bounced right into the turnbuckle. Thank goodness for that padding. He's like a little train that could. Well, that's it to be seen. Repeated backbreaker right there. Not very high impact, but you know, they're doing the job. I mean, the entire time he's doing it, he's wrenching that neck though, which makes it hard to breathe. Exactly, you know, it, it's, uh, on, go it's good to Let's see go Misery ahead. pulling out some new moves in his arsenal. Like adding some little bit of salt to the wound. Oh, and a, and a botched clothesline. Yeah, yeah. It's like he cut his hair with that one. Maybe he had some, uh, however, he, he followed with a great leg drop. That's for sure. Well, we don't know. He is a member of DOD. He might have like, a, a blade or some scenes in the elbow pad trying to cut all his hair off or something. What would he say? God. What would he say, man? As soon as he would look funny with the Hulk Hogan hairdo. Yeah. Reverse Mohawk? Yeah. That's never been popular. Yeah. Sleaze a maniac. Yeah. I have a sleaze a maniac. What? what Two! Oh, no. Again? Seems to be bringing back his cultists. We haven't seen them in a while. Last time we saw them, Misery donned a new face. This, this is. What's he having the challenge? This is unprecedented. Just rubbing it across. Rise, his Misery mouth. Demon! What? And Misery just back to his feet again. Stand with us, or fall before us. Stand with us, 
I've never gone against him, but I was in a tag match with him against DOD, and I, I've got to say, when the chips were down, he is a, an amazing partner to have. He is a great competitor. Absolutely, I'm, I'm personally very proud of the uh, the the greatness that uh, that uh, nation has shown. And this match has started. Prepare for the violence, people. Make some noise. You know, I can promise you, the louder you get, the more violent they get. Yeah. 
The fans are already covered for blood. Xander just letting him go, coming back, wanting to see him face off. These are two very unorthodox competitors in a very unorthodox match. They are two exact opposites, but they both go to the high line. They do. They can't wait until they hit the top. Hey, Brett, you guys go ahead. Hey, you guys go ahead, Brett. You guys go ahead, Brett. You guys go ahead, Brett. Watch right here. So as, I, as I've said on that, I have uh, inside sources into the SAW locker room, and one of my inside sources informed me that it is true that Xander the Screw got his points from former members of Poison. Ha! I thought I recognized him. I can either confirm nor deny it might have been Motley Crew. I, I thought he went back in time and raided Shawn Michaels' amateur days. We can only hope he baby powdered the inside of those leather pants. An amazing flip right there. Followed by a great spear. Right there. People are trying to take my damn chair. There's no way he can submit in this match. The only way to get the, the victory is by getting that belt hanging above the ring. And he must move that even from this angle. Ah, yeah. can't climb the ladder! The only way he can get that belt is to get that ladder out of the back. Yeah, bring that in the ring. And as we all know, the members of SAW know how to use a ladder. Very well, very well. We know how to make people bleed with the ladder, so. Yeah, yeah. Bend, break, bleed. Our cameraman was almost taken out by a flying chair. Look at that. Even our equipment has a plastic mind of its own. My nation! Nation just grinning. He's like, Toys! It's time for them chairs. It's like a child of toys on us. This match is about to get extremely violent, folks. I hope you enjoy. He broke the chair without even hitting it. Yeah, yeah. Right. You break your opponent's leg, not the chair's leg. It's not a chair. Oh. Oh. No, it's not a table. No. It's not even a ladder. Oh. I put him in the ring. Oh. He busted it, throwed him into the ring, oh. and broke all the legs. Nation just wants to be really good right now. Like, Carnage already, he didn't use it, and he busted it. He's found it under the hook, man. Look at that. Maybe he plans on taking the legs and using them like drumsticks on Xander's skull. We can only hope. Oh, a chair shot to the head. Xander is taking up her hand. I mean, but, you know, he, he is better at first using weapons to get what they want. Oh. Oh. I'm just stomping on our nation. Just trying to daze him with shot after shot to the skull. sitting at the commentary table with us, not at the ring, so he's definitely scouting these kids for their, uh, their hardcore. Uh, 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 Nation is trying to tear the ligaments into the knee of Xander. You see, that's a very smart move, Verde, because in order to climb that ladder, you're going to have to have use of your legs. Especially when you have chicken wings for arms, you can't really put yourself up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at your mouth got you now. You know, Xander is definitely a rookie. I mean, he's, he's shown a lot of skill, but you can't top experience, and that's something Nation definitely has in this match, is experience. Oh, a nice tree of blows working on the everybody bruised abdomen. Look at that. I can see that from here. Is he gonna, is he gonna do it? What, what is? Oh, oh, that's what oh, oh, I think Nation's trying to make Xander vomit. Drowned in his own excrement. Ew. It is, isn't it? But it's gonna be like fitting in the DOD. You know, I, I don't know if you've noticed, Verde, but it seems a lot tonight that the, uh, the DOD oh. has been doing a lot tonight. You know, they've been in a lot of these matches. And very, very involved. You know, they've, they've lost one championship, they've gained another. 
you know, uh, we can pick up an impressive victory. Let's see if, if Nation can hold it down for the SAW faction and not let the DOD get away with yet another belt. Uh, will it be three and one at the end of the handle, or will it be two and two? Oh! Beautiful elbow drop from the top rope of Nation. Oh, my God, people! Come on! Oh, the post arm breakers. See, this is smart right here because no matter how much Xander taps, you know this match can't be ended by a submission. No DQ, no disqualification. Nation can do anything he wants. See, right there, that would normally be an illegal move, but in a match like this, he can hold the ropes all he wants. Break his arm! Oh, and Xander just showing the resiliency of the. Of the new guy is pulling his way out of it. Oh! Xander oh. just you know, using the ropes and innovating any angle he could get. This match right here is highly anticipated. I've personally been looking forward to this match, you know, for, for over a month now. Right? Come on, where's the fans at? Oh, that, was, that was a pretty good hit of knee strike there. Come on, let's tell you where you guys walked the way. Nation! Nation! Nation's a chance. Nation! 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 This is this is definitely innovative right here. You never know what nation's going to do. It, it's like Tetris. You do what you can, you put things where you can, and you bring it all the way around you. Oh, and it's just doing a smart venture move going back for the leg. Nation is he look, he's smiling. You do not feel good. You hear those chops. Right here, and I saw the oh, imprint of the right through a table. Makeshift table. It looks like he's going to build a real table now. I don't know. And I'll, I'll tell you firsthand or first skull. Those saw horses are not forgiving. Who has one out there? So I don't know about table. It's the better we get. I can only imagine what Nation has got planned for that saw horse. Hey, that thing cost me my first match back. Yeah, did what did you put down on that thing? I did. I got, I got you know unconscious for the first time in my life because of that saw horse right there. Yeah, at Memorial Day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. To be turned out for the Cruiser Cup. Absolutely fair, Verde. I do believe it was your first match in uh, myself and Ravita knocked you out by putting you through a table. Yes, that's actually the no, 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 no. be down and out, but I did not lose consciousness. Oh, 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 down and out. Like, we had to put up extra barriers in front of the crowd for this match. Exactly. You know, and, uh, we even had to move the crowd's normal seats. They're usually closer to the ring, but we moved them back, especially for this match. I thought it was hallucinating that. I don't know. I thought it was just like a fleet for all the properties ahead. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and now we got big orange. Big orange the ladder. Not as big as big, big grayish brown, but still pretty badass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think I might cross through on that one. It wouldn't surprise me that that ladder has been through glory. Oh, and Xander using the outside arena barrier to his advantage. Keep it off the fence, guys. Keep it off the fence. Oh, look at that. And management has spoken. Oh, that was entitled. That was, but that was... That was like a, a, on, a, 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 a upside down. Oh, yeah, let's make a name for it. That was we're just gonna call that a bad ass kick. Right, right. I, mean, I didn't. I thought it was going for moonsault, and then I saw a foot tag in the temple. You know, I, I actually have seen that move before from a, a, a French federation, and they called it the uh, the badass. Oh, nice. Bad kick. Oh. I've only seen one person pull it, but they were standing in the middle of the ring, and it was Shinze Shinzaki and Heat Wave 98 ECW. Right? See, he won't play it since then. These guys are already beating each other down. Come on, guys. You, you guys got to know that the uh, the revitalization of Nation comes from your crowd, so you guys got to share and get Nation back to his feet, everybody. I don't know. Let's see if Xander has a chance against this Mason Allen. Oh. I think the ladder match, especially getting the belt. Oh, it sounded like Xander took over the ladder, but I guess he used it as a step stool to fly through the air. I thought he was going to go for the title, but it was like battering around. It seems that Xander's leg is starting to feel better. He's seeing if he worked out the pace. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. The vultures are swarming you! Your time is at an end! Oh, and that shot connected fully with the uh, nation's ribcage. Alexander wasted little time trying to go. Oh, I guess not. That's what he's got weapons for real, Alexander. He's rolling, they just put a stake on it. Athleticism of Xander, of Xander just Come on, nation. doing things on these ropes that I haven't seen anyone else do yet. Come on, nation! Come on, nation! Nation! Nation is definitely the crowd favorite tonight. Come on, nation! I don't think I should go past my hand. I should be the crowd favorite. You know, uh, first person actually make Madman get booed. I, I, you know, I wouldn't say that, sir. Madman has definitely been booed over his illustrious career. Oh, oh, oh. And Rage Led just returning the favor. You do forget me! Oh, come on, come on, guys! Nation, your, your wife is being assaulted, sir. Let's show them what happens. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who is in this chalice? I don't know what his, uh, his, his obsession with putting things in people's mouth is, but it, it, it kind of seems like he's on the wrong team. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on at ringside, but it looks like Rage lets going on with her. She, whatever it was that uh, Apocalypse put in her mouth. It's your with us now. Yeah, same effect almost that it does with the D.I.D. Oh. Like her hands are beginning to shake. She, she, she looks like she doesn't know where she is right now. Two nice side uh, lock from uh from uh, from Nation there. Are you going to put Xander up for something intense? Oh, with a nice snap suplex. That was intense right there. Let me tell you, I've been suplexed by Nation, and it does not feel good. Oh, he's, he's deceptively strong. Like, it doesn't look like he has much muscle mass, but he whip you around like you're a, a nacho. <laughs> Oh, I'm hungry. The more I talk about food, the hungrier I get. So I figure snack food and call that Speaking of food, free hot dogs for the uh, audience, just so everybody knows. Are they still going on or are they gone? Oh. They're gone. Yeah. They're gone. Free dog, man. Free dog. Go away from me. Go away from me, big boy. That right there shows exactly how awesome the college is. 
so much attention going out to the ring, he had no clue that free food was done. I appreciate that, man. You're a pet from here yourself, see? Oh, man. He got the top of that right at me. And this is for nothing but Carter. He is nowhere near the belt. He wants to hurt. You can normally expect a three count after that move, but but no count in this match. No count, no disqualification. The only way to win is grabbing that belt. Which is it is great because you have no choice but to continue to beat the snot out of your opponent. Beating the snot, beating the crap. Beat your opponent to death. Oh my and more of that liquid from the bottle is just come out of his mouth, which is wrong. Like demonic panda vomit. The monthly blood of his cultists, I imagine. That's just wrong. Even for someone as sadistically minded as me, that's just wrong. I, yeah, yeah. I have to shake your hand, you have made me speechless. That's... They don't call me sick boy for nothing. I don't even want to comment on that. I know he has lips to read, I can keep my hands up. I need let's read an acute tip stat. I said let's read oh, that was a beautiful chair shot right there. Is that what you made me miss? Go sit down. <laughs> I'm already sitting. You guys should be up here. You're evicted. Not literally. Of course. No. And I've been home with the board. Outside, just think of the home as any. Absolutely. They free air conditioning from the wind blows. The ladder is in the middle of the ring right here. But uh, it looks like Nation is setting up another table. And I'm not really sure why, but on top of the gauntlet, Apocalypse now has that twisted chicken wire screw mask of Andrews. No, it's Andrews. <laughs> Face <-tong. laughs> I hope he watched it when he got caught. This match is oh, this match is pumping the intensity. That right there may have been a complete momentum shifter for Z uh, for Nation. Now it, it might be a little too early to call this, but this already has match of the night written all over it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know. They're gonna go back. I just may rival the, the last tag match I had in the non title. I got a lot of this right here five minutes. I did my match with this guy. It looks like Nation with a dragon sleeper on the outside. Nope. Nation just trying to crush the skull of Xander on the combo oh, yeah. pose. Whoop, whoop. Like, I think I see a dent. Like, I, I, seriously, I see a dent in the pole now. And that is a thick wooden pole there. It is. Oh, oh my. Xander appears to be bloody right here from that. Bloody and hideous. Busted wide open, guys. Nation just... Completely not showing any interest in Apocalypse as he walks by him with the sawhorse. If there's one thing I've learned from my own personal feud with Nation, it is impossible to intimidate that man. The one thing we, we, we can all attack. Oh my god, he completely knocked the barbed wire right off the weapon. And then he picks it back up. He's like, wait, wait, let's do this again. You, you didn't take it right the first time, so I'm going to stick it to you one more time. Oh, and Nation oh, just melts oh, Xander from behind oh, with a bar bar rock. Oh, Look at that crimson oh, mask forming oh, on the face of Xander. Oh, He's trying to match his pants. Oh, I don't think anything but the 1980s can match those pants. Oh, well, so was I, but I mean, you know, we're not responsible for the bad choices they made. I, I see him. blood literally dripping from the head of Xander. Can you, can you fans see that? There's blood literally dripping from his head. Literally. Oh, is it not about the size of the same size that you were doing about my fat ass? Well, mine was a little bit longer. But, 
I, I gotta say, it looks like that might be more, more sadistic. It looks like Xander landed wrong on that knee. I wonder if he'll go, go eat home tonight. You know, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of moves we're really gonna have to call during this match very well. I believe mean, it's gonna be a lot of hardcore violence. This, this, yeah, this entire match is set up for nothing but pain. And there's a personal vendetta on a subconscious level with these competitors. Like, Xander did something to get under nation skin and it's sure. But they both seriously despise each other. Well, I'm pretty sure that when you eat the skin, you just have to take your belt too. His hair gets under my skin. Exactly. He doesn't have to try to take my belt. Exactly. Where are you I would also like to announce to the fans we have a concessions table open with uh, soda and chips, so make sure you stop by and get... Oh, it's gone? Yeah, they, they, they already got all the caffeine, they got a lot of processed meats. Did you see how ridiculous that roll looks? Nobody can do the soul collector like me, so... I'll just have to do it on the next oh, you, 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 you got like, what, 175 on it? Oh. Well, that, that's kind of impressive coming out of the house of Red Pure Cage, you know? Oh and, you know, I, I'd like to point out this. As well, when it comes to Simone Roll, the one he, the ladder he uses, isn't wrapped in barbed wire either. Now, this is interesting. You sick right freak! There it is. Like, oh. have you noticed in the corner the interesting setup that uh, Xander just set up? A chair with a table on top of it. That looks like someone's gonna use as a projectile. Oh, and look, I was right. Oh. And that just looks like it didn't break. So I, I, I think Nation was trying to give him a bunch of splinters down his back. Oh, oh, and it bounced back to him a second time! And his head bouncing off, and that cut's only gonna get worse the more trauma he takes to his head. And it also looked like the table was working with Nation on that one. But it didn't fit, so Nation's gonna make it. That's a true carpenter right there. They popped the builder. You know what? We can fix it. Right into the oh. If we can't, we'll break it. Man. Oh. See? 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 He couldn't fix it, so he broke it! Absolutely, he definitely broke it right there, and he might have broke the shoulder of uh, Xander. Oh. I'm, I'm sure he can only hope. Absolutely. You can't lift your arm above your head to take that title off the rope without that arm. This is TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Every one of those words has an S on the end. Now, let's see. Means plural for those who can't count. Plural. I have the sudden urge to make a Rogers joke, but I don't know how many of the people in the crowd went there, so I don't feel like getting lynched and strung up from the tree. I went there, I'll make a whole lot of money. Xander was going for some sort of offense, but... Oh, oh, oh are you kidding? Oh my god! Oh, I thought he was going for the muscle buster off the turnbuckle! Oh! oh. oh. The table! S.A.T. 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 Like Xander is down! His face is the same color of his pants, and he is lifeless! And Mama Bear to the rescue. And still, Justin Cut TV champion. Whoa, Falls! I think Xander will think twice before putting that ego out there quite like he did. He landed on his own blood in his own failure. Apocalypse cannot be too happy right there. He is the mouthpiece of DOD. His ego will not do anything to slow him down. He might need some stitches after all those repetitive shots to the head. I still see him dripping blood. That would be hell to his feet. I don't know, maybe another sip of the chalice juice. The show is not over, everyone. There is still more to come, so please stick around and enjoy the rest of the show. The ego, he's still raising his hands to the crowd like he won the match. I am he lost. That screw! Got screwed up! 
it's screwy that he thinks that he's still Mr. Billy Badass. <laughs> A three-way dance for the heavyweight championship! Yeah. Oh, come on, make some more noise than that. That's better. She crawled back in the ring for this? Give her a chair. Guess not. This is the man who was the founder of SAW right there. Everybody make some noise. Give it up for that man right here. Yes, man. man. Without this man, we'd have nothing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Eight times tonight. Eight times. Maybe Bible study, but... But then again, Apocalypse could be even cold as hell anyway, because they wouldn't know. Oh, 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 oh. Rusty doesn't have the mannequin head. That's no good. That makes him a loose cannon on the ringside. His hands have nothing to do. Whispering to him to stay calm. So oh. I don't think the devil's playground is his and gonna have to Ladies and gentlemen, this is your man. The only man in ACW so arrogant, he had fire coming out of his pants. I thought that was just a hurt guy. Simplest, baby. I mean, it, it, it's been like three months and it's still flaming. I get it checked. Your next heavyweight champion, everybody! <laughs> You suck! And the man with his shiniest belt in SA. That right there is a true legend in SAW. That right there with this entire match is all about. That was a good guy, huh, Dad? Well, he does believe in God. There's so few of us out there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, hold on, hold on. The competitors. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Dan, the Renegade Ravita just uh, asked me for the microphone. Why don't you take her microphone, sir? What? You're gonna try to talk. Dan? While Dan is talking, can we please get someone out to the ring from the roster to clean up some of the intensity from the last match? You mean the blood? Well, uh, it looks like I have the odds stacked against me in this match. I've got Porno Mike with his manager, Freddie Steez. I've got Madman with his manager, Rusty. Yeah. Well, how about I bring back my manager? How about I bring back Sit Boy? Oh. You got it, brother. You got it. I'll take over commentator for Sit Boy. <laughs> oh, and uh, look what we have here. It looks like a t-shirt sign. More free stuff? Yeah, more free stuff. Uh, looks like it's signed by, by most of the roster here, not all of us. Free is fun. Okay, who out here has not gotten any free merch? It's a kid shirt. Why do they let this man have a mic? Oh, come on, you could have fit that shirt. Come on! 
Just a quick note for all you fans out there. Um, I just checked on uh, Xander the Screw. He is doing okay. That last bash into the ring post kind of cut him open pretty good. But he is in the back and he is doing okay. Pretty good. He instantly changed colors like a chameleon. We're now going to announce our competitors. First, 175 pounds from Las Vegas, Nevada. And accompanied by his manager, the untouchable Freddie Steez, Hardcore Production presents the legendary Porno Mike. Oh! Bask in the ambience, go bask in the ambience. Good, bitches. Our other competitor this evening, at 220 pounds, from parts unknown, and accompanied by his manager, Rusty, the one and only... Hope's a known rock. There's no rent. <laughs> and your current champion at 190 pounds from Tacoma, Washington, and accompanied by his manager, Sick Boy, Dan the Renegade, Ravita. <laughs> This match is for the SAW Heavyweight Championship. Ready? 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 Ring the bell, dude. Yeah, man. There we go. There we go. Like an animal. Come on. With a little bit of aggression. Like an animal. Come on. A nice shoulder block by Just you know, 
You and the other guys are running the outside. But he had those empty hands of his coming play at any point in time. Hey, and then, oh, and on, the ref is distracted. Why don't you do your job? Get out! Get out of here! I'm doing my job. You get out of here! 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 He threw it to the ring. It's technically part of his outfit. That's right. Wait, Hogan got away with beating him with that stupid ass in a belt he always wore. He wore it to the ring. They couldn't call it illegal. You know what? I have a more apropos name for Freddy Stees. The corruptible one, Freddy Stees. <laughs> Same preschool, ref. You need to get faster on that count. You do your oh, job. Don't worry about me. Just do your job. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring some, a little, just a little bit of attention to those fancy glasses that, uh, that Freddy's wearing on the outside. And an open hand slap. Oh, Freddy's stole from my wife. What are those? Can we I don't know. I think they stole from my wife. Oh, look at that. Rating right the panty drawer for glasses. Oh. Oh. Ravina just. Oh! Oh! Is it? Oh, oh it's not time! Come on, Ravita! Like Madman didn't have time to turn around. Come on, yeah. Oh, Madman's going up. This is never good. Even at half the size he was when I met him, he's still dangerous at that altitude. Oh! Come on, Ray, oh, and Mike played it off like he was going to congratulate him and then just popped him. And you know, that's kind of funny because Porno Mike is really showing his true colors tonight. He is. He talks about Ravita being the bad guy and Ravita doing this and doing that and all the lies, but Hardcore Productions is the shady, just as shady as DOD in the long run. Come on, Dave. Yeah, shady Come on, Dave. I'll second that. Give it up! Hardcore Productions! The ever confident Porno Mike just taking a moment to address the crowd with a taunt. Ah! Ah! Yeah, he needs a mirror to stroke his own ego. Ah! Ah! him again. Better than ah! the love, love written on the back of it. Come on, dude. Oh, nice arm ringers with a flip over. He's going for his patented hat trick arm drags. Oh, the snap leg drop because of the throat of Ravita. Rev in perfect position to see both shoulders down. Mike only gets a two count though. Come on, Ravita. And Freddy's becoming up a turd on the outside. Now yeah, those two people going at it, Madman set in the corner and grabbing his whips. And as, as, as we've all heard Mike say in the past, he's only used to going at it about 90 seconds at a time. So the fact that this has gone longer, he's probably got a kind of fatigue. He might need some beer Or that little blue pill. Oh! Oh, and again, the comment from earlier of Ravina's shoes never being able to stay on his feet. Do you realize how disgusting Toe Jam is? We gotta lay on that, man. All three of you made my short hair curl. Oh, the dope turn around. Can, but can he capitalize on this with the third man? One, two, one. Madman just flowing from his sleigh, from his seat to his feet. He's after work. Come on. Like the wind just picking up like a kite. Come on. Wouldn't that be a Johnson kite? I'm not really comfortable with any Johnson of any sort with porno in the ring. <laughs> and thank you for setting me up for that joke. It was beautiful. You're quite welcome. It was just handed to me on a silver platter. If you don't want me to censor myself, you shouldn't talk to me. <laughs> or hand me the mic. Come on! Oh, Madman just calling for it! Is he calling for assistance? Oh! 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 I've never seen that before! 
I have seen job, the little standing suplexes from the top rope. I have never seen a suplex with a sunset. Get up, get up. Madman and Bermuda and Mike just proving that you don't have to be a high flyer to fly. Bermuda just trying to make sure Porno Mike can't inhale. If you crush a lung, you're done. Bermuda going for it. Oh! Oh! It's like a human centipede of headlocks. Yeah, I know. Come on, okay. Boy, you got this, Mike. Wake up! Wake up! No, that's two. That's two. Who will tap? Who will tap? Oh! And a double chin buster from Mike. Get up! 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 They will always do something One, you don't expect two. them to do. Oh, and Mike gets a two count on Ravita. Oh. Hey, this oh. event has been so hot that we had milk with Kurgle. Oh, hey, with a roll down. Oh, oh. 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 Uh, only a two. Is it a one or a two count, Riff? Two. A two count. Oh. And Ravita not paying attention to the foot coming right at him. Like, I can't see because of the sun, and I saw that coming, man. Oh, brutal Steve Slam from Batman. And again, the big man goes up. Oh, and Ravita rolls out of the way. The veteran mentality of, of all these competitors just quickly able to scout moves. Yeah, you're Freddy. Oh! 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 Hey, Ravita! I can't keep a beat on him! Is he good? Is Mike right? I'm not going on! No, I think that we'd have to give that one to your snake boy. Nobody saw it. True, if he took from the hands of somebody like... Oh! The brutal kicks to the back of Mike's head. Oh. And catches one of the solar plexes himself. Oh Ravina is down, gasping for air. Come on, Mike, you got this. Oh. Madman, the only one on his feet. Oh, until I said that. Thanks, buddy. Maybe you look at it like an idiot. And up! Oh. Oh. Mike goes down! It's only not hard to do when I have to. Finish this, Mike. Finish it. You got this. Freddy going for the finish on the outside. He's saying bring it to an end, but can Mike do it? All three men fight for this title like they're fighting for their life. Oh. Over and oh! Oh! One, two, three. One, two. That was a slow count. Great job. One, two. That's called not knowing where your third opponent is. Ah! Mike got a little bit of creation going on. Attacking the spine of a uh, Ravina there. Come on, Mike. Get up. Get up. This match is so intense. I have to power read. And again, Mike saw a telegraph move coming. Oh, look, man, they was gonna give him a hand, but Mike had something else in mind altogether. Let's make a wish. Oh, dirty move, dirty move. That's so fun to do. I didn't see nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you get, man. Just the guys with the mics. Come on, dude. Oh, no. Oh. Mike has Ravita up and back down. This powerhouse of a. Oh! Right to the jaw. Maybe you should land on again first.
One of these are always just so hard to get a beat on who can win in a triple threat match. You never know where that third man's gonna come back in the way. Let's head back and pay the tour of the match. Even this far into the match, I'm not willing to Dude. make a wager on who's gonna win. I'm not, the fact that they just keep getting up is... Oh, it goes back and forth. One takes it and beats the crap out of two of them. Flips it around. Got this, Dan. Come well, on, get up. All three men are up, in those ropes. I see this going the distance. I really do. As you say that, Madman steps out. Oh, Mike stepped out too. He's the only one in the ring, but he. Madman has a table. Never did with him. It, it, it's not, but this was a no DQ match. It's a triple threat. I've got rules about triple threat matches. I mean, not often, but it's happened before. Oh, oh nice! You missile drop kick. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on. Oh! Just drops and it drags him over the top rope by his head. That's definitely a hard way of bringing him back into the ring. It, it is. It is like being forced back over the border. Oh! Come on now, man. Beautiful way to keep your opponent back in the ring, but... Maybe you should have scoop slam Mike on the side right there so a man making a landing on him might have actually won review to the match, but... Oh, and around and down Madman goes. And those do actually look like some close fish punches by Portal Mike. He did. That did look like a... That did look like a boxer jet to me. And through the table top. Oh, my God. Say goodbye to the gold. Come on, Ravina, you can bring it home. Come on. Because matches like this, they they make me very happy that I've never seen one of the opponents folded in half backwards, but at the same time, you kind of, at the end of the day, you, you're a little disappointed because you didn't actually see it. They make me think that they're going to do it, and then they come really close, but death, you know, death is not in it. Only mayhem, carnage, and destruction are, which is good, so they can keep their heads clear. Is that better than mentality? I'm match with two other new guys. We don't have that wherewithal. We just think about winning. It's survival when you're a new guy, and that's it. But a veteran, they, they pace themselves. They know what's going on. The veteran will take a beating for the first one to come back from the end. Oh, yeah. It's all about when you can get that breath. Winning it. Oh, and Mike with a pile driver on the video. Madman just gathering a toy for destruction. This is getting frustrating. Come on. That's it. Went backwards on Madman. Madman into his own construction. Oh! Yeah, and Ravina out of nowhere driving Mike face first on the mat. Can't he capitalize with a nice scissor kick? Oh, only the one count. Oh, two count? I saw a one. And probably Rogers. He didn't do it. Yet. Madman is eliminating Mike from the ring. Bringing it down to one on one competition. And you notice Madman was smart enough to take him to his own corner where Rusty's standing. Right? Come on, Those idle hands with the sadistic necktie wearing coffin nail smoking nerd. Rusty looking so unassuming over on the sidelines. 
just as on the ball throw. Oh, Mike down. He is still on the outside. A rubber. He just lets it all out. The slot moves. And no DQ, so it's perfectly legal. What is Cashman doing? Rusty's in the ring, too. Oh! I'm giving a shake to the most. He's a friend. He's a friend of yours. The hell is that? The hell is that? What just happened to you? What about the feud that they oh! and Madman have? And they just the first ah, to Madman's aid. And ah. Bruno just got ah. raised. That Bruno just got raised. Wow. Where did he get the mace? Whether he used questionable tactics or not, a win in the book is a win in the book. But everyone just gathered around Madman. I think I think most of them blinded him. Wow, that was a fireball right to his face. I have never seen that live before. No, no, it is. Where was that? That was just like fire straight to the sun. That wasn't in the plan. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. I don't know what you want. Freddy Steve's looks just as confused as the rest of them. Damn. My God! Did he did just get maced by Ravina? Is that what he did? I mean, so that, that Ravina basically just proved poor old Mike's point. No matter how bright the problem light may shine, what the hell? Come on! A little faster, Ravina maced you. He's going to Mike. What the hell? What was that? What the hell was that? Rusty turning on his people. Our Memorial Cup champion earned a spot in Wrestle Rave 6. He did not fail. He just did not succeed. Two shots. Two shots, Freddy. Today, he had another shot at the championship. But you did not fail. You just have yet to succeed. Yeah. Even I'll say it, Mike got cheated. Mike got cheated. It ain't all yeah. You know what though, I'm a businessman. Yeah. And cheated Mike. or not, I think I just got screwed on my opportunity to be the champion. Mike. I would Maybe. never. Let me see that. You know as well as I do, Freddie Steve, that if we give somebody two shots to do something, and they fail, they're not even gonna get that third shot. I apologize. To all the fans, all the fans that cheered for me last week to win this belt. <sighs> but Ravita, he did prove me right again. <sighs> He's the bad guy. What are we going to do about this, Steez? <sighs> for those of y'all who don't know, you're about to. Because I'm the unfathomable, the untouchable, Freddy, Mr. Money Grows On, Steve's. And I am the richest man in SAW. And I can pull some fingers, I can pull some strings. This will be your next heavyweight champion. In words, I might not have won, but I hope everybody enjoyed the Port of Mike Show! I can't see it. I can't see it.